We have a couple holidays coming up over spring break when we won't have books on, so I'm going to do April Foolishness. This is written by Teresa Bateman and illustrated by Nadine Bernard Westcott. So April 1st will be April Fool's Day. Let's see what we can do. April Foolishness. Looks like it might be on a farm, don't you think? Oh, here we go. Life on the farm keeps a gal on her toes. That's what grandma thought as she flung on her clothes. She grinned for the grandkids had come for a stay and wouldn't you know it, they'd picked the right day. Here's the grandkids visiting. Grandpa, oh grandpa, the cows have got loose. I think Big Brown Bessie just stepped on a goose. Ouch! So do you see how this is in like a, a bubble, like a thought bubble? Do you think that's really happening or do you think they're trying to trick their grandpa because it's April Fool's Day? Imagine, said grandpa. Good gracious, alas. Then he poured some milk in a tall frosty glass. I don't think he believes them. I think he thinks they're trying to trick him, don't you? Grandpa, oh Grandpa, the chickens are out. They're squawking and squabbling and racing about. Oh, looks crazy at the chicken house. Imagine, said Grandpa, amazing. Oh my, as he popped some eggs in the skillet to fry. He doesn't believe that the chickens are out, does he? Grandpa, oh Grandpa, the pigs broke the gate. They're in the tomatoes. Oh, hurry, don't wait. Oh my goodness, those pigs are having a good time in the tomatoes. Imagine, said Grandpa, I'm really quite shaken. He reached in the fridge and got out the bacon. He doesn't look very worried. Grandpa, oh Grandpa, the goats are all freed. They're running around in a smelly stampede. Look, they're running. Here's the clothesline and they're catching all the clothes. This one even has on the shorts. This one has a dress caught on it. This one's eating, it looks like something. Stockings are caught on this one's horns. Oh my goodness, it's a crazy mess. Imagine, said Grandpa, it's really quite scary. Then he sliced the goat cheese he brought, he bought from the dairy. Grandpa, oh Grandpa, the sheep are all gone. They're still trying to trick him, aren't they? I heard that they're munching on somebody's lawn. Oh, look at these sheep. This one has a drink, he's reading a book. This one's listening to music. Some of them are munching on the lawn. This one's reading the sign that says, keep off the grass. Imagine, said Grandpa, I hope things get better. He opened the closet and got out a sweater. Grandpa, oh Grandpa, why won't you listen to me? The farm's going nuts. If you look, you would see. But Grandpa just grinned as he took out the bread. He popped in some toast for his breakfast instead. When Grandma appeared, then Grandma appeared. What a hullabaloo! Who's causing this noise? The grandkids or you? Hullabaloo, that's a good word. Craziness, that means. It's nothing, said Grandpa. Ignore them, I say. They're trying to trick me. It's April Fool's Day. But honey, said Grandpa, you'll find to your sorrow, it's not April Fool's Day today, but tomorrow. Oh, Grandpa thinks, oh no, it's all true. Then Grandpa turned red and he gave out a roar. He sped through the kitchen and dashed out the door. Grandma just smiled as she pulled up a stool. She nibbled his toast and called, April Fool! 
he thought they were tricking him. And then Grandma tricked him, didn't they? Didn't she? It really was April Fool's Day, and they really were tricking him. The end. He came back in. He doesn't look too angry, does he? They all had breakfast. Bye-bye, Hugo Reed.